Hey everyone, Amar Bashakar here. Uh, one of my clients in contracting.com runs a cabinetry business and he was running out of work and he didn't know what to do. So he jumped on a call with me and in literally five minutes, I picked up my phone and I got him two bids to go bid on. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that and how you can do it as well. And then right after we just had a, a heart to heart moment. And you know, this client of mine was very gracious to allow us to take a look at this example. Um, so we had a heart to heart, kind of help him see what was in his way so that whenever anything comes up, he knows exactly just like that, how to generate more work for his cabinetry business, his face, his name, anything related to his business has been blurred out. Um, but it's, I think it's really important for you to watch this video so that you can walk away knowing exactly just like how I did, you can find your own work and how to overcome any sort of struggle that you may have that might have you resisting reaching out to people and just asking for a chance to bid. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them for you right now. I'm going to show you how easy this is. 22682. Now, before you call any human being, you should always have a script in front of you. And let's read the instructions. All right. With anything in life, when you're trying to make a request, you need to make sure people you interact with are touched, moved, and inspired but with a vision you have. Without this component, people will feel like they are obligated to help you rather than want to rather than want to help you. Like they're obligated versus they want to. It comes when you put yourself on the line. It's not supposed to be comfortable. Okay. There's a difference between being comfortable and being aligned. It's about taking a chance. A turtle only moves when it sticks its neck out. Okay. So Let's let's call right now. Hello, welcome to Construction, your premier custom design and build company, making your dreams a reality. If you would like to schedule an estimate, please press one for our sales team. If you require assistance, please press zero for customer service. Thank you and have a great day. Your call is being transferred. Please hold. By the way, I also get nervous when I'm making these calls. Like I'm not 100% comfortable right now, just to let you know, man. And that's okay. I do things regardless how I feel. You preached Greg from construction. Hello? Okay, they didn't pick up. So what do you do if somebody doesn't pick up the first time? You call them again. It's called a double dollar. Hello. Welcome to Construction. Your, your call is being transferred. Please hold. You preached Greg for Construction. Okay. So because I'm the person that I am, I just called customer service twice, got no answer. So what do you think I'm going to try now? Your premier custom design. I'm going to click one for sales. I'm going to talk to somebody. I'm going to talk to somebody in the company, even though I don't want an estimate. I'm just going to click one. I'm just going to talk to a person. Man, these guys need some contracting.com in their life. I could be a customer and they're like not picking up their phone. Yeah. So that didn't work. Let's try. 51952. This is the game. So I'm going to go back here. And be like, you know, I'll put in the details. I should have done that before dialing because they might pick up here. Hi, is this uh, SD? Yes. Hey, how you doing, sir? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, amazing. Yeah, my name's Ammer. I. Pardon me? I'm just on the website. You're from the, oh, you're from the website. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so I, I actually found you on uh, on Google Maps. I work with uh, Cabinetry and okay. um, you, you do, uh, you're a general contractor, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So I'm just curious, what, um, like what Cabinetry jobs do you have coming up? I would love to get a chance to uh, bid on uh, some of these. I don't know if you have somebody that you subcontract cabinets to um, or if that's something like you want help with. Who is helping me? Sorry? I do have a cabinet company who is currently helping me. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming you're happy with them, right? Obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. 
Um, well, here, here's the thing. Is there a job that's coming up? And if this doesn't work for you, it's totally fine. But is there a job that's coming up soon where uh, you're going to install some cabinets? Um, I'm not here to take anybody's anybody's job, but I know like sometimes you, you might need like a you might need like a backup. If you can place me for a couple of jobs, it would be great. Okay. Do you have a couple of jobs that are coming up? Okay, I would absolutely love to do that. So how can I do that? How can I get my hands on maybe some of these prints and give you a price? I can send you. You can send it? The address and then you can go there. Okay, so you, you can send me an email? Um, yeah, I can do that. Okay, great. So here's what I'm going to do. What is, um, is your email sales at? No, email to STJ Construction. Construction. I can't hear you. You're breaking up. Construction? Jacob, at gmail.com. At gmail.com. Okay, I'm going to shoot you an email uh, with like who the heck we are and some reviews. Uh, we have a great reputation here. So I'll shoot that over and then maybe you can reply to that email with some of these prints, okay? Okay. Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye-bye. What's going through your mind right now? Yeah, that's um, that's that's my uncomfortable zone. Well, that's where all the money is. So you either stay. No, comfortable. I'm, not, I'm not saying that I won't go do it. I'm just I'm just telling you that's yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm also uncomfortable. I'm sweating a little bit right now, man. Because you're here, so you probably look up to me. So if I screwed up that call, you know, you're going to think I'm not as good as a... It's all good, man. I just got you two bids to, like, bid on in two minutes and 37 seconds. That's how long that phone call was. I see. That's this is This is just the work. This is actually what you need to do. All right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter why, well, why, how I feel about it. It's it, it's something I need to overcome if I'm going to make it in business, I guess. So that's um, bingo. I'm going to be like, this is coming from a place of love and care because you have a whole family right on your, on your back. Today, if you wanted, you can shut down this business, sell all your equipment and go work for another business and start making 80 grand guaranteed minimum, minimum for a guy with your skills. You can make a lot more and work a, w a way less with your business, but there's other skills you have to learn. And the skill of overcoming this discomfort and the skill of being good on the phone and having confidence on the phone, that is what is required. It's not optional. It is required to succeed in business. So my question to you is, do you want to do that or do you want us to help you start shutting down this business? No, I... Okay. Shutting down is not an option. I yes, yes, exactly. Love that. How'd you find this phone call? What's going through your mind? What's going through my mind? Um, I, I'm just faced faced with the hard fact that it's um, this is um, I'm naturally an introvert, and so this is hard a, a little harder for me to just be doing that. Um, and that's, 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 what's going through my mind. Um, rejection, um, I tend to think less of myself than what other people maybe do. Those types of things are around me. I'm not saying these things to like, oh, pity me. I'm just, I'm just, this is stuff that I keep noticing, you know, that are part of me and that's just is the stuff that I'm it's going through my mind that I'm faced with. Yeah, you're a, relig you're a religious man, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you hesitate to like spread the goodness of God and the word of God? No. So when it comes to talking about your faith, are you an introvert? No, not usually. No. Something I'm very confident in. Interesting. So instead of calling yourself an introvert, which is not true. Okay. Because if you're an introvert, you tell me, yeah, I am, or despite how much love I have for God and how much I want to spread, spread the word of Jesus Christ, I'm still, I am an introvert. I'm like, okay, I get it. But let's not, you're, you're no longer allowed to call yourself an introvert because you just literally told me that that's not true. What's happening is you're, you're just not feeling confident in your ability on the phone. That's all that is. And the only way to build confidence is to do it. Like you can sit here and listen to motivational music. I can tell you to go do it. I think you can do it. I think you're a great speaker. But none of that matters. What matters is this thing called fear and doubt. Fear of rejection, fear of looking dumb, fear of stumbling, doubt over your ability to do this correctly doubting you you know maybe you, you're afraid of like burning a bridge or whatever it's your mind it's actually just you going through that fear and everything that you're experiencing is the test this is the test right i believe in you and the path has been laid in front of you. You just have to walk it. Jesus laid out the path for you for your freedom. And me, my mentors, and all this have laid the path for you in business. And anything that's holding you back is just it's just pride. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate you, man. You're better than you think. You're smarter than you think. You're more educated than you think. You're more charismatic than you think. And it's time to take action. Do you think right. you anything? Shoot me a message. All right. Thanks, Samer. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.